committee will be in order. The gentleman is recognized for two minutes. Uh, we offer H.R. 1664, the Pay for Performance Act. The Pay for Performance Act is based on two simple concepts. One, no one has the right to get rich off taxpayer money. And two, no one should get rich off abject failure. The U.S. government spent $170 billion to stabilize AIG, and it now owns 80 percent of that company. Yet recently, AIG paid more than $165 million in bonuses to 73 employees with this taxpayer money. We should not be paying an arsonist to put out his own fire, and we should not be paying an executive to ruin his own bank. Mr. Speaker, an economy in which a bank executive can line his own pockets by destroying his company with risky bets is an economy that will spir spiral downward to failure. And a government that hands out money to such executives is a government that fails to protect its own taxpayers. H.R. 1664 is designed to allow responsible compensation to those who work for companies running on taxpayer money. The bill freezes current bonus payments for executives and employees of companies that have accepted capital investments from the TARP program until that investment capital is paid back to the government. It allows for new compensation and bonus arrangements to be made as long as they are based on performance standards and are not excessive or unreasonable. These standards must be crafted by the Treasury Secretary within 30 days and approved by the Federal Financial Institutions Examination Council. Our job is to act on behalf of taxpayers to fix our economy, and we do so today with this bill. The restrictions in this bill apply only to financial institutions that have taken capital investments from the taxpayer, and they are common sense restrictions. Pay cannot be excessive or unreasonable, and bonuses must be based on performance standards. If the banks want to avoid, for some reason, these common sense restrictions, there's a very simple way for them to do so. Just pay the bailout money back to the government, and that's what the banks say they want to do. I know that taxpayers in my district will happily take it back. I yield the gentleman. Gentleman's recognized for an additional 30 seconds. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I asked the CEO of AIG when he came to testify before the Financial Services Committee, is it more important to protect bank executives who have lost billions of dollars and still get millions of dollars worth of pay, or to protect us? The answer to that question is now before this body, and I know which side I'm on. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back to Chairman Frank. The gentleman from